So we're going to learn about the percent proportion. So that's going to be the title of our notes. The percent proportion. As always, if I'm going way too fast, just go ahead and tell me, slow down in the chat and I'll slow down or raise your hand virtually and I'll stop. So when we have a percentage problem, we usually have either a percentage, a whole number or part of a whole number that's given to us or asked of us. So for example, let's, let's just write example here. Let's say you're given what is 25% of 12. Well, we're given a percentage. They give us the percentage. And they give us the whole number. What's missing is the part. That's what's missing. And that's what they actually want you to find. What part of 12 is 25%? In other words, what is 25% of 12? So there are several ways we can find 25% of 12. Several ways. We can say, okay, well, 12 times 25 cents will tell us 25% of 12. Because 25% is 25 cents of every hole inside of 12, which there's 12 holes in there. We multiply that out and we find that that is 3 dollars or 3 holes. So 25% of 12 is 3. 3 holes. This is one way we can solve this. One way. Another way we can solve this is just think of 12 as a whole. Okay? Let's pretend this is 12. And then if I split this in half, I have 6 here and I have 6 here. This is 50%. This is 50%. And if I cut 50% in half again, that means this is 25%. This is 25%. This is 25%. And this is 25%. 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25%. That's 100%. Or add the red, which is 50 plus 50, that's 100%. Anyway, so if I split my 50% in half, I get 25%. If I divide 6 by 2, that means each of these boxes has to be 3, which is 25%. So 25% of 12 is one of these. 3. That's another way to solve this. There's also a way of solving this by using the percent proportion. The percent proportion. Which might help you um, on more complicated questions. So go ahead and write the percent proportion. The percent proportion. So here we have the part, the part that's missing over the whole number equals percentage over 100. So this is what we call a formula in math, a formula. So let's solve the question. We already know that 25% of 12 is 3. We found it here, and we found it here where I already circled in blue. So we know 25% of 12 is 3. We know that it's 3. 3 is the part. But let's say we were going to use the percentage proportion. Oops, sorry, guys. 
So they gave us the whole number. The whole number was 12. The part is what's missing. We don't know the portion of 12 that is 25% yet. The percentage is 25 out of 100. They gave us 25% of 12 is what? Okay, and now you can solve for this. You can cross multiply, or you can reduce the fractions and figure out 12 times what is 100. But in this case, we are going to cross multiply. I think you guys remember cross multiplication. 12 times 25, I'm just gonna do in a calculator real quick. is 300, so 12 times 25 is 300. P times 100 is 100P. So we have an equation. We have 300 equals 100P. 100 times a number is 300. 100 times this mystery number is 300. What's that mystery number? Or we can recognize that 100 is being multiplied and we can divide by 100 on both sides. 100 goes into 300, well, three times. 100 goes into 100 one time, so that's 1P. But we don't have to write 1 times P. We can just write P. The part is 3. Isn't that what we found at the top? 25% of 100 is 3. So we can use this formula, we can use a picture or a model, or we can use number sense. To find 25% of 12. All right, so let's look at another example of us using our Proportion, our percent proportion problem. So go ahead and write part over whole equals percent over 100. Okay? Part over whole equals percent over 100. So let's say we have this example and it says uh, 3 is what percent of... 15. 3 is what percent of 15? So what's missing? Can you guys tell me in the chat what's missing? Good. So several of you have indicated what's missing. The thing that's missing that they want us to find is the percent. We don't know what the percent is. So the thing that's going to be blank or the thing that we're going to put a variable for is here. We don't know what the percent is. We're trying to figure out the percentage. So have you ever noticed that the percent symbol kind of looks like an X? Oops. There. So since we're missing the percentage, why don't we just put X over 100? That's what we're missing. And they gave us the part and they gave us the whole. The part is at the beginning. 3 is what percent of 15? So we have the part over the whole. See that? Now we can solve. We can cross multiply. So let's multiply. 15 times x is what? 15 times x is just 15x, the number with the variable written next to it. And then 3 times 100 is 300. And then just bring down their equal sign. 15 x equals 300. 15 is being multiplied, so we're going to divide by 15 on both sides. 15 divided by 15, that's one whole, or one x, but I can just write x. Remember, an x just means one x anyways. There's one of them. 300 divided by 15 is 20. 
But what does X represent again? What does X represent? At the beginning, I told you what it represents. X represents our percent. So 3 is 20% of 15. We found it. 20%. All right, so the next question I have for you is what? No, here, let me. 4 is 30% of what? 4 is 30% of what? Let's write our formula. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Part over whole equals percent over 100. All right, so they give us the percentage. So we can write 30 out of 100 equals part over whole. Hmm, what's missing, the part or the whole? So if you read the question one more time, it says 4 is 30% of what? So it implies that 4 is a part and that the whole is what you're going to find. The whole is what's missing. So we're going to plug in 4 for the part. And the whole is missing, but instead of writing the whole word for whole, just go ahead and write W. Because W represents the whole number. Okay. So what do we do now that we set up our proportion? We cross, cross, multiply. Yes. Thank you for telling me in the chat. W times 30 is what? Mm-hmm. Thank you. And then 4 times 100. 4 100s. 4 times 100 is 400. And then we set that equal to each other. And 30 is being multiplied. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. 30 divided by 30, well, that's just one whole. But that's what... The W represents one of those. Now, 400 divided by 30. Whoa, it's a, actually a decimal. 13.3, and it repeats forever. Repeats forever and ever. So the whole number is actually 13.3333333333333333, but I'm not going to write that. I'm just going to put three with a little line on top to remind me that that means that it's repeating forever. Remember, this is a repeating decimal. So 4 is 30% of 13.3. So I would write 4 is 30% of 13.3. So we're going to practice a few more. I don't want to make this video more than Yay, 20 I minutes. found the part. So well, I was given the part. Of I found the whole. Is what? And I was given the Actually, percentage. I'm going to review what we learned so far. So yesterday, we talked All right, talked guys, so about, we're going to practice more. Whoa. I'm going to write down two questions, and I want to give you guys like five minutes um, to try to do the them. Maybe like percentage three minutes. Of so let's do... Um, we talked about having the part, a whole, example a percent, and five, a percent and over 100. Example That's part of the formula. Six. So I'm okay. going to move everything back. I apologize so example for the five craziness is, of this video. What right is... Here. So if you're re-watching this what at a number later time, not in class... <laughs> is 25%... Of 80. And then the next question is 15 is what percent of 40? And use the percentage proportion. Okay? Okay, I'm going to overwrite this. So, what percent of 25 is 80? So, we have part over whole equals percent over 100. Again, part over whole equals percent over 100. If we look at example five, they gave us the percentage, 
and they gave us of 80. So that means that's the whole number. Anytime you see the word of something, that means that the thing that's next to it is the whole number of 80, right? So we're finding a part of 80. What's missing is the part. We don't know what the part is. So since we're missing the part, we're gonna leave the P on top of the equation. We know the whole number, the whole number is 80. We know the percentage, the percentage is 25% out of 100. Now, what do we use to solve for this? What do we use to solve for P over 80 equals 25 over 100? All right, that is correct. We're gonna cross multiply. P times 100 is 100 P. And then 25 times eight is uh, 400? No, no, it's 800. No, <laughs> I'm gonna use a calculator. This is what I get for guessing. It's 1,600 something up there. I got 2,000. That's too much. Yeah, I got 2,000. Thank you. All right, so now I'm gonna divide both sides by 100. And 2,000 divided by 100 is actually 20. Yay, and 100 goes into 100 one time, but I don't have to write one P. I can just write P. So P equals 20. And P represented our part. Our part, remember? So 20 is 25% of 80. And that makes sense, because if you think about the number 80, and you think about what's 25% of 80? Ah, 25% of 80 is 80 times 0.25. And if you actually have a calculator, do 80 times 0.25, you'll see that that equals 20. And look, that's what you found, 20. Yay, we found the part. But for example six, it's a different thing that's missing. The part isn't missing for number six. It says 15 is what percent of 40? So it looks like what's missing is the percentage. That's what's missing. So let's get our, let's get our equation. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Well, they gave me the part. The part is 15 of 40 means that that's the whole number. 40. The percent is what's missing. Remember, the percentage looks like the letter X. So we just put X right there out of 100. When we solve for this proportion, the X represents the percentage. So remember, we have to put a percentage symbol at the very, very end. Hey, this 4 is 30% of 33. This thing right here is actually supposed to go up top. Um, so it's supposed to go up here. 4 is, uh, hold on, let me see what it was. 30% of 13.3. If you guys had that up there, good. It shouldn't have been down there. Sometimes my, my stuff shifts. See? Ugh. There we go. Get out of here. It's supposed to be over there. Okay, so we have 15 over 40 equals X over 100. We have to cross multiply. 40 times X is 40X. 15 times 100 is 1,500. Keep that equal sign between them. 40 is being multiplied, so I'm gonna divide both sides by 40. 40 goes into 40 one time. We have one X, but remember, we don't have to write one. We could just write X, because that means there's one of them anyways. 1,500 divided by 40 is 37.5. Now remember, X represents the percentage. So we have to put a percentage at the end of this. So let's complete the sentence. 15 is 37 and a half percent of 40, 40. Little fun fact, the number 40 is one of my favorite numbers. My favorite number is number 19. My second favorite number is number 40. I love number 40.